Hi, welcome to the final activity of Create Music with Your Sketch Workshop. In this activity, we are going to add one more effect function to our song. In activity four, we used set effect function to apply an effect to a specific track for the entire duration of the song. But using the set effect function with seven parameters, we are going to apply effects to specific sections of a song. This version of set effect allows us to perform automation on specific piece. Automation is a way to change the value of an effect over time rather than having the same effect over the entire duration. So one use of automation is to make a song fade in or fade out. In order to do so, um, Earsketch provides an effect parameter called gain. And if we provide, sorry, an effect type called gain. And if we provide an effect parameter called volume, we can define an effective start value of the volume at minus 60 decibels and effective end value of our volume at zero decibels. And if we do that, it will sound like a song is fading in over time. Uh, you can also experiment with uh, different values and different effect types and add it to your song for even greater effect. So let's jump right into ear sketch to see how that works. So if you um, if you go to the API browser and and search for select effect, you will see two different functions, one with four parameters and the other one with seven. This is the one that we are going to use. In order to insert it in your code, you can you um, can place the cursor at the right location where you want it and paste it. You can either replace all of these with the values that you want, or you can type it in. So um, let's, again, this is similar to activity four. You can go to every effect explained in detailed curriculum Spain and look at the effect that you want in your song. We want volume effect, which is a valid effect type. So in order to see, what volume um, parameters we can provide. Let's go to volume. So there's this gain parameter that we are interested in. And so we have gain in here. And let's look at the values that we can provide. The minimum value is minus 60. And that is how where we are starting and the effective end value is zero. And that is what we are providing. There's also a start location and start and end location parameters. And those are basically the location of the effect start value and location of the effect end value. All right. So we have these two effects from activity four and we added one more. So let's run this and see what our um, song sounds like now. All right, as you can see, there are two effects from activity four, and then there's a volume gain effect, which you can see is not constant, but it will vary over time. So that was our full song. 
and uh, congratulations, you have uh, you have made it through this workshop, and uh, you have graduated to creating a song in your sketch. Feel free to um, experiment with a lot of other uh, APIs that your sketch provides. Thank you.